Modern Poetry by Sarah Turner. My City by James Weldon Johnson. James Weldon Johnson was born in 1871 and died in 1938. He grew up in Jacksonville, Florida, and he also wrote poems with simple dialect to the Urbane Sonnet. In 1900, Johnson wrote Lift Every Voice and Sing for Lincoln's Birthday. Johnson became the organizer for the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People in 1920 because of his ability to persuade people to come together to work on a common goal. Vocab I found that was I did not know in my city was stark and it means absolute. Literally devices in my city. In the poem My City, it utilized elements of nature throughout the entire poem. The effect of these literary devices was how it showed the way he portrays the character to have an awe as he views Manhattan and its freedom. Analyst. Throughout the entire poem, it shows his love for Manhattan's beauty, its smells, and how he has a pride for his city. Tone. Johnson's tone throughout the poem is pride, love, and joy for a city, happiness, as shown in the following, but ah, Manhattan's sights and sounds, her smells, page 720. This quote shows the feeling he expresses in the poem. Theme. The theme is how a man thinks that when he dies, he will not miss nature or other factors of life. However, how he will miss the city, as shown here, oh God, the stark, unutterable pity to be dead and never again behold my city, page 720. Modern Elements. This poem relates to the era of modern literature by how it challenges the American dream. It challenges it by showing how someone can love the city and have it as their dream instead of the stereotypical American dream of living in a suburban area. The visual representation is a picture of Manhattan in that time zone. Yeah. Chicago by Carl Sandburg. Sandburg was born in 1878 and later died in 1967. He wrote in a socialist point of view and he was not known in the writing world until 1914 when some of his works were published in a poetry magazine. Vocab words that I did not understand when I first read through was wanton and it meant resulting from extreme cruelty or neg neglect. Neg neglect. Literary devices. The first stanza is all person personification and an extended metaphor. The effect of these devices are that we vision them in our heads and then are able to understand the poem even more after we vision them. Throughout the poem, Sandberg uses hog butcher, tool maker, and any couple other names. And these names describe Chicago as a burly and tough place to be. But the speaker responds to this and pronounces Chicago to be so to be so proud to be alive and coarse and strong and cunning. How is a vibrant and dynamic city and the speaker finds beauty in it despite the dark corners. Tone. The tone Sandberg sets in this poem is that even though the city has many problems, he still is proud of its tendency to keep striving and building for the future as it shows in the following. And having answered to, so I turned once more to those who sneer at this my city, and I give them back this near and say to them, Come and show me another city with lifted head singing, so proud to be alive and coarse and strong and cunning. Page 672. In this poem, strength and skill is a recurring theme. Chicago is a tough place to live, as shown below. They tell me you are wicked, and I believe them, for I have seen your painted woman under the gas lamps luring the farm boys, and they tell me you are crooked. And I answer, yes, it is true. I have seen the gunmen kill and go free to kill again. And they tell me you are brutal. And my reply is, oh, the faces of women and children I have seen the marks of wanton hunger. The Modern Elements of Chicago by Carl Sandburg is how Chicago relates to the era of the modern literature by how it challenges the way people view Chicago. It shows how people were proud to live in Chicago no matter what other people view it as. My next poem is Anyone Lived in a Pretty Ho Town by E. E. Cummings. E. E. Cummings was experimented with poetic form and language to find his own unique writing style. So, to implant, introduce, or promulgate, or seek, propagate, or extend. Literary devices. Metaphors and sound are both used as literary devices in this poem. 
For example, woman and men both ding and dong. Dong and ding. Page 643. This is an example of a metaphor because he is comparing people to bell sounds. Dong meaning loud and ding meaning smaller sheer noises. Throughout the entire poem, Cunnings emphasizes on how time is passed by writing spring, summer, autumn, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, showing how this town is not pretty at all. Cummings employs literally devices to contribute meaning to the theme, which is a lack of foundation in relationships. The anonymity of the characters in this poem help contribute to this. The overall tone of the poem is playful, yet deals with a very serious subject matter, as shown in the poem. Women and men, both little and small, cared for anyone not at all. They sowed, sowed their... Isn't they reaped their same moon stars rain? Six, page 643. The main theme throughout this poem is how people experience many changes over time. Here's an example. Some, someone's married there, everyone's laughed, their cryings and did their dance, sleep, wake, hope, and then they said their nerves, they slept their dream. Page 643. This poem is an example of modern literature era because it shows how people fall apart and drift away from each other. I use this visual representation to show how no matter what you can do, sometimes you just will, you guys both just go your own way and yeah.